welcome to Employment Law This Week. I'm George Whipple. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. As of last year, the World Health Organization estimated that depression and anxiety cost employers up to $1 trillion in lost productivity each year, and that number is expected to increase in light of the current pandemic. With some companies beginning to return to work, it's a good time for employers to evaluate their benefits programs to ensure they're providing the mental health support their employees need. Epstein Becker Greens, Cassandra Labiz, and Amy Lerman have more on how employers are addressing mental health in the workplace. Traditionally, employers have used their group health plan as the mechanism to provide mental health services to their employees and their employee dependents. In addition, employers can use an EAP or employee assistance program where it's designed by the employer to provide services to all employees and not only those in the group health plan. So the EAP can be designed in in various ways. It could provide just a referral service whereby the employee contacts the EAP and is referred to a therapist or provides limited mental health services. And then the EAP, if necessary, will will refer for long-term care or the EAP can be designed to provide the gamut of mental health services. Um, it really depends on what the employer wants to provide and the understanding that an EAP that does only referral services is most likely not being viewed as a group health plan under ERISA. Employers should review their group health plan offerings and work with any vendors or insurance carriers to determine what services are being provided for mental health. Um, in their group health plan, especially for telemental health services, and then make any design changes or amendments as needed. Many employers are are working currently with their insurance carriers when it comes to telemental health services that are being provided in their group health plan. So this includes adding offerings, expanding networks, doing direct contracting with telemental health providers in order to ensure their employees can access services during this time. Some states have also deregulated or increased regulations and other avenues to to allow for telemental health services, which has allowed for an increase of access and care using these vehicles. Telemental health is the remote delivery via telehealth of behavioral health services. Behavioral health services lend themselves well to the telehealth format because most often um, they are conversations between a practitioner and a patient. And so there's less of a need for physical proximity between that provider and patient. Most, if not all payers are really embracing and even encouraging their beneficiary and member populations to utilize telehealth and especially to utilize telemental health services. Um, Relaxing things like coverage rules and um, commercial payers, for example, offering things like zero dollar co-pays to their members who are using these services. And so I think that telemental health and, and telehealth more generally really are having a moment right now in terms of, you know, receiving support from payers. The million dollar question, of course, is what will the coverage landscape look like once this pandemic ends? And I I do think we'll see a partial walk back by, you know, some, if not all payers to some of the coverage rules they had in place prior to the pandemic. I don't expect that, you know, things will remain exactly as they are now. That being said, I think that they're going to have a lot of interesting usage data which hopefully will you know, keep them thinking about the best way to cover these services and to promote coverage of these services. Thanks, Cassandra and Amy. Beyond direct mental health support, employers are also evaluating their vacation policies to see how earned and unearned time off can help support employees during the pandemic. That's what you need to know this week. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.